milk. Everybody loves milk. Milk with cereal, milk and cookies, milk and biscuits, milk and tea. Ah, milk and tea. Delicious. Lactose intolerant people don't like milk though. Lactose intolerant people don't like milk. Yes, they do. Here, look. Approximately 65% of people in the world are lactose intolerant. Only a certain percentage of those people have severe reactions to consuming milk. And Google says so, so it's correct. You might even be lactose intolerant yourself and you just don't know. Yes, you, Frostbite. And you, Temple Tunes. And you too, Bob. <laughs> milk is pretty weird though. Like, sure, in the wild, animals will eat other animals. They'll even steal other animals' food. And that's nature, you know. But is there any species other than humans that takes another animal's milk, which is baby food for all intents and purposes, for themselves? And don't get me wrong, I love baby food. Gerber, Cyrillac, uh, baby, baby gourmet. <laughs> Heinz? You mean like the ketchup people? Y you know what? Good for them. Look, the point is, taking milk from other animals, whether it was cows, goats, almonds, or even chickens, it's kind of like stealing candy from a baby. And do I want to steal candy from a baby? No, babies have bad taste in everything. Have you seen what they watch on YouTube? But milk? Oh, if I can get my hand on some delicious choco milk, then baby stealing is back on the table. I'll be stuck in the bathroom for half a day, but you know what? It's worth it. Why do most of my videos end up around the subject of toilets? I didn't mean kidnapping a baby, by the way. I meant stealing milk from a baby. I think the last animation should have made it clear that I don't want a baby. Why would a baby have chocolate milk anyways? That's probably not good for them. I don't know though. I'm no babyologist. Anyways, did you know that Canada's milk comes in bag form? What? Why would you put milk in a bag? What am I supposed to do with it? Poke a straw through it? There's too much milk in there. I'm sorry. Milk is a sensitive topic for me. So anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> Look, when you're so close to these bags of milk, you get this impulse to chuck them. It's kind of like when you stand close to an edge of a cliff and you get that weird feeling of, I wonder how it would feel like to jump from here. But with much less drastic repercussions. I mean, what are they gonna do? They're all the way at the spices aisle. You have nothing to threaten me with. Nothing to do with all your paprika. It's a shame though. These milk bags don't actually explode on impact. They just end up flopping on your target's face, which might physically hurt more than a milk explosion, but it's no fun. Which is why I'm presenting to you the milk balloon! Wanna have fun with your friends and family? Get back on those who wronged you? Start a revolution in order to cause chaos and mayhem? Spice up your birthday? Then you're in luck. With milk balloons, you'll be the life of the party or the death of the rich. Now, you might be wondering, what makes milk balloons so special? Are they different from water balloons? Less wasteful? They're more fun, that's for sure. That doesn't answer the question. If you purchase one now, then you can get a free bag of milk with your order. And then you can... Uh, okay, I, I got this. It's it's a little bit finicky. Just just a second. Just... What? Guys! Screw it! Who thought putting milk in bags was a good idea? I swear, the simplest things. Now everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. Or tonight. Or this evening. Or after... I guess evening is the same as night. But I, I hope you guys had a good afternoon. As you can tell, this is very much scripted. Um, this video was supposed to actually come out much earlier, but um, I guess now I have a pattern, you know? Each video is supposed to come out much earlier, so I think uh, I should just expect them all to be postponed and come out later than I expected. But, um, you know, a video per month, that's good, all things considered. And I had a lot of fun making this uh, animation especially. I feel like I'm learning a lot with each new animation. Also, shout out to Temple Tunes and uh, Frostbite. I put them in the video because they're technically, I guess, the first people to comment on them. Um, but since then, we've actually got a couple more, such as Sam's Animation, Jaguar Bubbles, and Twig's Animation, who are, honestly, all of them are great animators, uh, great videos. So I recommend you guys to check them out. As for my next video, I think I'm going to finally make that animation tutorial I've been planning on doing. So you can look forward to that. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, again, thank you for watching and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.